hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete every single challenge in the new Forzathon event, uh, the first Forzathon event even for Forza Motorsport 7. Now without further ado let's get stuck in uh, but I want to clear a couple of things up first because this new Forzathon is quite different from Forza Horizon 3's Forzathon so instead of there being just four events um, there is now about 14, 15, something like that. Uh, so as you can see here on the screen, there are three main events. You've got the This Is Forza Motorsport 7, Going the Distance and Clean Sweep. Now, as you can see, it says Challenge 1 next to all of them. And you can see an, in a row, you can see about four or five dots to get to the final prize. Now, that's because there is about five challenges per sort of um, per prize basically to complete so instead of there being four challenges like on horizon 3 you now have three main ones and in those you have five or four little ones so the first two basically have five challenges and the last one to win the 95 nissan nismo gtr lm uh, has only four so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them one by one. So we'll start off with all five challenges in the This Is Forza Motorsport 7. So you can win the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Forza Edition. Then we'll do all five and go in the distance, or all four even, sorry. And all four in clean sweep. So I'll guide you through each and every challenge here, guys. I know it's a bit confusing. It took me a few minutes to clock on what was going on. Um, but don't worry, guys. I will help you as best I can. And if you do have more questions about it, please feel free to ask. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the first challenge. So, the first challenge here wants you to complete five laps in Maple Valley in a classic street muscle division car. Uh, so it's not really that hard. So what you want to do is go over to free play. Uh, and then you basically want to go across to setup uh, and then again across uh, to race setup. From here you'll be able to pick the track so you want to go all the way over to the right to Maple Valley as you can see here. Um, I then set it to 5 laps and I set the driver tiles just down to about 6 I think it was because you don't want to have a fully rammed race so obviously it's a circuit race change the car division to classic street muscle uh, and if you press x you can see the different track types that you can have available so obviously i picked the smallest one that's only got 1.15 miles so it'll be over quicker and you can do this for all of the challenges and you'll see me do it i'll go through a lot of detail in helping you guys do it um, obviously then the car restrictions will have changed so you then have the option to change your car now in the end I went for my 1970 Dodge Challenger but you can go and rent a car it really doesn't matter if it's a standard car or slightly modified it will still work as long as it's in the correct car class and of course it's on the correct race uh, or map for example so I know that these Forzathon challenges are confusing and I've seen on the forums a lot of people have been struggling you know they've not been getting the challenges completed or anything like that so I'm going to do like I said a full in-depth guide to help you guys out completely um, so everything that I've done I have completed the challenges I've got the prizes I've got the achievements um, and obviously I'll show you step by step I will try and skip out a lot of the racing like this for example and I fast forward a lot of it just so we can sort of cut to the chase kind of thing uh, I do apologize it is quite a long video but there you go uh, anyway, so there you go, you've seen I've completed the race. Now, it doesn't matter where you finish, uh, whether it's first, fifth, whatever, it depends how many driver tires you've got. Um, just so long as you complete the race across that finish line, you'll then go down to quit. Uh, obviously you'll collect all of your awards um, and then you'll move on to the second one so you'll go back to the Forza Fun tab and you'll see challenge 2 has appeared so this one wants you to complete 5 laps in Dubai with a track toy division car so yet again I went back over to free play um, I then went over to set up and race set up again um, and I changed the track to Dubai now like I said before I kept 5, right, five laps don't know why it said 6 there um, changed it to track toys um, so I'll just fast forward this bit here. So this is like the aerial atom, the BAC mono, etc. Um, and I'll then change the track to the smallest one possible, which I think was only about 2.3 something miles, um, as you can see there. Uh, so it's obviously over a lot quicker, but fair enough, the track toys are pretty nippy cars. So most of these challenges will take you about 5-10 minutes per challenge. Um, so it is quite long in comparison to the old Forza Horizon 3 Forza Thons, um, which is slightly annoying. It's, it's kind of annoyed me a bit, um, you know, a lot of them are multiplayer based and orientated but I want to know your opinions on it so please do tell me obviously what, what you think of the new Forzathon setup do you like it, do you think it's better, do you think it's worse I quite frankly think it's a lot more complicated uh, and I think the Forza Horizon 3 one was the better one but anyway uh, so here you go, I've just completed as you can see the 5 laps on Dubai, I then went back to quit and but obviously after collecting all the credits and XP and whatnot, um, went back to the Forzathon tab where you can see the next third challenge has come up which wants you to complete 5 laps in Miguel a Miguelo, I think it is, in a Forza Touring Cars Division car. 
So yet again, back over to free play. So most of them are pretty easy. They can be done in single player. Um, a few of them you'll see later on will need the use of rivals, which is obviously online. Um, so obviously pick the track, the Miguelo one. Um, the shortest lap was 1.6 miles or 1.6 miles, whatever. Um, five laps and then obviously picked the um, Forza Touring Cars, I think it was. Um, pick that specific car division um, like I said you don't have to use your own cars you can use the rented ones um, it doesn't matter it doesn't affect the challenge so long as it's in the right car class like I said and like I said as well it doesn't matter if you win the race or lose it just make sure like with Forza Horizon 3 you cross that finish line obviously that's what complete means for this one I end up going for the Volvo because it had the most uh, brake horsepower and I think it's actually a pretty cool car to be honest for it, considering it's a Volvo um, I love it to bits but yeah anyway so this one wasn't really hard none of these are really that hard in all fairness they're just a bit time consuming uh, so obviously completed that came out of it again and quit got all of the credits the xp etc etc went back to the forzathon tab uh, to do the final challenge which wants you to do five laps in prague in a gt racing uh, reborn car so this one wasn't hard again it's pretty easy i think i ended up going with a bmw m1 or something like that but yet again go back to the free play tab across to setup and race setup um, go over to Prague and then obviously press um, X to pick the shortest track, which they are 1.82 miles, five laps. Uh, I don't know why it kept changing to six, bit weird, but anyway. Uh, and then obviously set it to racing GT Racing Reborn. Um, select your car, like I said, it doesn't matter which one you go for as long as it's in that category. Uh, so I went for my BMW M1 because it's one of the fastest ones in said category. It's actually a pretty decent car, in all fairness. Um, I do apologize if the video is going pretty quick. I just sort of wanted to get straight to the point in every challenge you can always pause this video don't forget guys um but there you are that's those five laps completed and as you can see there's the achievement popped up so it's a rare achievement all of them are quite rare uh, and that is to win the 1969 ford mustang um boss 302 forza edition so obviously after that you quit come out and whatever You'll receive all your credits, but then you'll also receive the Forza Thumb Prize, as you can see here. Um, I'll let the guy speak. The race organizers made good on the promise of an exclusive reward. Check out what just got delivered. So, yeah, there you go. That's the Mustang Boss 302 Forza Edition. So then, obviously, it's now to the second set of Forza Thumb Challenges called Going the Distance. Uh, so this is to win the Astronaut Modern Driver Gear. So the first challenge just wants you to complete a race in Circuit de Spa. Yet again, I went over to Free Play. Um, race setup and you go all the way across on the right um, as you can see here to circuit the spa and I'm not going to try and pronounce that last word anyway there's only one uh, track for this now what I learned is you have to do two laps so I know I've shown one here but you need to do two laps it was a bit of trial and error I did one lap and I didn't get it um, so I then went back and I did two laps in which I did then get it um, as you can see here so that was that one completed yet again I just stayed in this car class the GT um, one it doesn't matter what car class you use for this one which is quite good just it's mainly focusing on the track for that one so there you are that was quite easy obviously collect the prizes collect the credits and whatever go back to the Forzathon and the second one wants you to complete three autocross events now this one really isn't that hard um, and you can't I figured out do it by going back into your sort of Forza Drivers Cup one so you want to go over to the rivals mode uh, and then you'll scroll all the way across to autocross now as you'll see here there are three events thank god um, so what I did is I did each one now yet again it doesn't matter if you sort of don't beat the target time as long as you complete it and cross the finish line um, in this case I managed to beat all of the target times uh, for three challenges but all you have to do is do all three so obviously that's what I've done here I'm just showing you the first one I did, uh, which was in Ken Block's Focus RS. They're not really that hard. Yet again, they are a bit time consuming. They take about three, maybe five minutes per challenge. Um, they can be quite tricky depending on the cars, but all in all, they're not that hard. So obviously went back to the Forzathon tab just to check that I'd completed that one and it had. Uh, then did two more and obviously here comes challenge three, which just wants you to complete a race on the Nürburgring in a Porsche. So yet again, a fairly easy one. Like I said, most of them are. Uh, went back to the free play tab 
as you can see, uh, setup and then race setup, and then I just picked the Nurburgring track. Now, obviously, I picked the shortest one, which still wasn't that short, it's 3.2 miles. Uh, and yet again, I set it up for two laps because you don't want to be caught out on one lap. Um, I set the car division back to any, so obviously, I could pick a Porsche. Now, you can pick whatever Porsche you want, it doesn't matter. Um, I just went for my 918, as I'm sure you guys know I always do because it's probably one of my favorite cars uh, throughout the past couple of Forza games. Uh, so, all you have to do, yet again, is across that finish line after the second lap it doesn't matter where you come just make sure you complete the race um, and if it is getting a bit too tricky for you guys obviously do remember that you can change this difficulty uh, of the driver tires etc but anyway that's all of those challenges completed so you'll win the astronaut modern driver gear um, it's now special but it's you know it is what it is uh, and throughout all these challenges you will rack up about 100 to 200 thousand credits throughout the Forzathon which is why I'm assuming they haven't given out any credits or anything like that um, so yeah, these ones really weren't that hard, obviously collecting the credits and all that. Uh, and then moved on to the final set. Um, now the first challenge in the final set of Forzathon events um, basically just wants you to, I think it was, do some rival events. Um, it was complete a rival event. Um, now obviously this really wasn't that hard um, so you can pick any of them but obviously by the time you've probably done the autocross ones it would have counted um, but in the end I just went for a track day one just to show you guys something a little different uh, obviously you can see at the top there's obviously your rivals time uh, the car they used and the time they managed to achieve and then on the far right hand side you've got the position that you came in overall from everyone who's done the challenge uh, it did confuse me a little bit at the beginning I, I was a bit befuddled by it all um, but then obviously as you start doing more and more of them because I don't really do the um, ranked stuff uh, and the rival stuff you'll get used to it all like I said I know this Forzathon is a bit tricky and I don't know if it will change for the next Forzathon it would be better if they made possibly less events um, I know they're not sort of the, you know the, the slowest events or the fastest ones even to be honest um, but yeah anyway for this one uh, all I did was a couple of laps and then I quit myself so it doesn't automatically stop you so I had to finish the race manually um, in order to get that challenge challenge completed. Uh, so went obviously back to the Forzathon screen and there it was completed. So the next challenge wants you to complete five laps in a modern hot hatch. So yet again, go across to the free play tab uh, and then go to race setup and you can pick whichever track you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, I just had to check at a couple of them, see what was the shortest lap. In the end, I think I went with this um, Monza track. It was only 1.6 miles or something. Um, set it to five laps, modern hot hatch. So obviously I know what car to pick. Uh, and in the end, I think I went for my Focus RS. But it really doesn't matter what car you pick as long as it is in that category, like I said. And yet again, just make sure you cross that finish line. It doesn't matter where you place just make sure that you come across it um, and then obviously you'll collect all of your awards your credits etc etc um, and for some reason the actual driver gear from the previous challenge popped up then but anyway now the last challenge just wants you to win a race in an exotic gt division car in order to win your 95 nissan nismo um, gtr lm so obviously i went back to free play uh, set up a race it uh, doesn't matter what circuit, I just went for Silverstone, went for the shortest track which is 1.64 miles, uh, did two laps again to so be careful not to get caught out in just one lap um, and I picked the correct division car which I think it was Exotic GT or something um, and then obviously you pick your car. I only end up going for a Lamborghini LP670-4 SV, but you can rent a car if you don't have one of these ones. Uh, and then here you are again, just showing you coming across that finish line, completing the race. Um, yet again, it doesn't matter where you finish. And there's the achievement for the final Forzathon challenge. So all in all, there you go. That is every single Forzathon challenge and event. Um, guided through basically for this video um i know it was a bit tedious uh, i'm not a fan of making massive massive videos like this um, but i really do hope this helped you guys out obviously that's why i'm here that's why i'm trying to help you guys and make these videos so it can help you guys out um if you did find this useful please tell me please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this a massive thank you for the people who have actually sat through and watched this video um, i know like i said it was a bit long and tedious but thank you anyway um, and i hope that you guys want me to do more of these because i do enjoy them at the end of the day that's why i'm here like i said to help you guys out but a massive thank you for all your support i hope this helped you out and i hope you're looking forward to the next falls of event